Did you say something, Ruby? Oh, great. Don't tell me you're hearing voices now. But... Hurry up and get the dragon's eye. The timer's almost run out on the trap. Trap? What trap? Why didn't you tell me about that earlier? I did, but you were too wrapped up in getting the jewel to listen. Oh yeah, the jewel. Hold on, I've almost got it. Hurry, hero. Oh, uh, there, I got it. Watch that rumbling. Oh no, the exit's uh, closing. Let's get out of here. Ah! Okay, Ruby. It's it's just a few bruises. Okay, that's it. No more exploring for us. I've had it. We always end up getting in some sort of trouble. Shh, Ruby. Listen. What? Ah! Come on, Ruby. Let's get out of here. Well, looks like you've caught us in another messy situation. Oh, by the way, if you haven't figured it out. My name is Hero, and the flying cat is named Ruby. She says she's actually a baby red dragon, but I don't know if I quite believe her. She doesn't care, though. We've been friends for what seems like forever. My grandfather Gwyn is an archaeologist who taught us how to explore ancient ruins like this. Well, not exactly like this. <laughs> Grandpa'd have a coronary if he saw me in this kind of danger, but you get the idea. I think it's so cool that these dungeons and ruins that time forgot can be found and explored by someone like me. This world is full of wonderful legends. The Blue Star, from which our ancestors supposedly came. Tales of dragons and heroic dragon masters. A magic city that flew in the sky. And the goddess of love and beauty, Althena. All those legends and places have to be true. I believe them more with every step I take in places like this. The world I live in today is the result of things that happened long ago. Someday, I'll gather enough information from ruins like these to prove that, and maybe even get to see the goddess Althena. Hero! Boss the move! I think we lost him! Whoa! in this area! Who does this Joker think he is? We might ask you the same thing, mister! I wasn't talking to your cat! I was talking to you, boy! Hello! Time for your eye exam! I am not a cat! Knock it off, Ruby! You're gonna get us in trouble! My name is Hero, and this is Ruby! Identify yourself! Certainly. I am White Knight Leo, leader of Althena's Guard, and this is the Dragon Ship Destiny. Now then, listen up. You kids need to evacuate this area. A confrontation is about to take place. I don't want to see any civilians accidentally caught in the middle of this thing. Return to your home immediately. Move it! Helmsman, set a new course. Destination! The Blue Spire! Ha! That guy seemed a little full of himself if you ask me! But he did say he was the leader of Althena's guard! I wonder if that's the same Althena you told me about! Well, no telling now, he's gone! And good riddance! Anyway, we'd better get back home before Grandpa comes looking for us! Thank you. 
Xerx here, 1983, back with you. Alright, so, yeah, it's pretty interesting how this game starts out. I mean, the opening sequence uh, and the uh, prologue is uh, really, really well thought out. And even the beginning of this game is really fell <laughs> You gotta admit, every single time that opening sequence where a hero falls, I, I just laugh just because the the look on the on his face uh, of the avatar of the little sprite going down is just hilarious to me. Anyway, so yeah, as you can tell, they're all well, they're different voices and they're different characters. Uh, and obviously, our, our the name of the hero of this game is Hero. So. <laughs> Anyway, so there's a few things I want to go over with the battle system. It's not too much different from uh, the original, from Silver Star, but uh, there, there are a few differences, so let's go. And we gotta go back to Grandpa's place, so I'll might as well guide you there. Alrighty, here's our first enemy. Uh, they're sand sharks. Uh, there's two of them that are actually you can only see the fins of, and the one with his head uh, stuck up. You want to kill the one with his head stuck up first, because they'll actually use a, a much more powerful attack. So yeah, and uh, well, Alex is using a, 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 ver a fairly light weapon right now, so we can attack three times. And these things have around, I think they have seven HP each. So. And there's also another aspect of this game that is fairly new. Not nah, gonna get hit with it anyway, but at least you'll be able to see how much damage it does. Ah, okay, maybe you won't be able to see it this battle, but uh, yeah, Ruby actually helps you in battle. Say if uh, I had actually been able to get down and hit this guy for one, as soon as he attacks me and hits me, Ruby will come down and actually breathe fire on him and hit him and kill him. So there you go. Sort of like a gimme, I guess you could say. If you get him like within like three hit points of his of uh, dying, then Ruby will help you out. So there you go. Alrighty, so let's continue on. That's all you fight around here, so don't worry about anything else. Get a better weapon soon, anyway. Alrighty. Oh, what's a what's that? This must be the Dragon Chip Destiny, or whatever they called it. <laughs> oh, there's uh, Grandpa's house, so let's head on in. And I really don't want to go in there just yet, because, well, you can use this to... It's a statue of Althena, so you can use it to heal up. And a few things to go over with you. Um, well, in this game, you actually start with magic, rather than having to wait for somebody to give it to you. Um, and in this case, Hero uses Wind Magic, and his first spell is the Boomerang Attack. It's uh, pretty powerful for uh, this part of the game, so it'll be coming handy uh, coming up. Uh, same with the Jump Attack, that is actually pretty powerful. It's about twice as powerful as the Boomerang Attack, and it's uh, it's ranged. Both of them are ranged, and uh, it's infinite range, so you can be at the complete opposite ends of the battlefield, and you'll still hit. Uh, and yeah, so you use MP. But another thing you might notice is that you can see at a level here, level one boomerang magic. That yeah, that means you can actually level up your spells with something called magic points or magic experience points. Uh, let's see, can you see anything here? No, okay, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, you can get magic experience points after each battle, and you can use those to upgrade your spells when you get enough of them. Um, I won't be doing that for a while, but uh, that's just to let you know about it. And as you can see, silver is still the uh, currency of choice in this game. And experience is, well, what you'd expect it to be. Uh, also, in this game, related to the, uh, uh, the magic experience, is that in this game you can actually save it anywhere. Any dungeon, on the world map, anywhere. Except for maybe the, like the battles or whatever, but you can save it anywhere. However, in order to do, in order to save it at all, you actually have to. It actually costs you 15 magic experience, and you can see the uh, the 40 M there below uh, uh, Hero and uh, Ruby. Um, so that's that. Uh, and yeah, so the AI system in this game. Yeah, this is how you change the order. It's a lot easier from uh, the first one. What's his memory? Yeah, okay, so this is the uh, different, uh, I guess you could say, sort of like gambits in Final Fantasy XII, where you can actually set up uh, tactics that uh, you can tell them to do uh, in the uh, during battle, and you don't have to do anything. So uh, AI in this game actually utilizes automatically attacks, magic, or even items. So uh, that's pretty much what the, that auto AI or whatever did in uh, the first one. If you turned it on and you went, went with AI, uh, it would actually, you know, it, it would actually use attack, magic, and items in battle if you had them, them uh, turned on. 
Anyway, so uh, that's all I really want to go with you over with you in this video. So uh, I guess in the next video we'll have to uh, go uh, meet up with Grandpa, tell him we're all right, and uh, see what happens then. All right. So this is Syrup 1883 signing off. See you next time.